For over two decades, Wes Roberts lived a normal life teaching technology at an Ontario college. But he always felt something was off. I had an experience which I felt was not a dream. It was unusual. The truth, as they say in the UFO world, is out there. But maybe it was in him. Being observed and tested. He was introduced to Leslie Mitchell Clark, a hypnotherapist who specializes in experiencers, which is the new term for alien abductee. So what I believe that I did in his case is initially I regressed him to the first point in his life where there was an incident of high strangeness. He describes the incident as being frozen in time, awake, watching five minutes on his clock go by in five seconds. I was just watching it bang, 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 bang. For Roberts, it was an awakening of sorts. He's now convinced he'd been contacted by aliens. There's some kind of beings that are interfering with my life. They come when they want to. I cannot reach them when I want to. Whether you believe him or not, he believes it, as do thousands of other Canadians. Skeptics dismiss them outright, citing a lack of evidence. But is everything easily explained? He wasn't too sure of the direction he was facing. Which... When there is a report of a UFO in Canada, it ends up on Dave Palachuk's desk. He's the lead Canadian investigator for MUFON, a worldwide organization that studies UFO sightings. So maybe in order to prove what it is, you could say I'm debunking the case, but no, I'm trying to prove what the person saw or witnessed. On this day, he's looking at a video taken over Toronto. Which could be balloons, three balloons attached. Or a UFO. He discovered it was floating, too slowly to be a plane, but moving in the opposite direction of the wind. So he classified it as unknown. MUFON Canada gets about 600 reports a year. 90% are explainable. And with 4% classified as hoaxes, that leaves 6% as unidentified flying objects. Oh my gosh. So what are they? Oh. For believers, it's easy. Aliens are here. But for most, the word unidentified is enough because the truth is still out there. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.